good to see you thank you so much for joining me today if you're a new subscriber oh my god thank you so much it is a great honor to see you and it will mean the world to me if you just join the community by subscribing here i share my scaffolding removal journey scaffolding process journey with you i just share how what i use and what does not work what works and also i'm planning on introducing vlogs and other amazing I also do reviews too so if there's something that you like if it's something that interests you please join this channel it will mean the world to me too, for you to just join the channel join the community thank you so much and for my old subscribers thank you so much for coming thank you for liking the video thank you for the words of encouragement thank you for you know just um, sending your words like reaching out to me on my DM and talking to me and if you're not following me in any platform I'm on social media I'm on Instagram she's worried I look at it here you can just join me now I have a very important news to you from Ro, please yes we have a book and it's currently on Amazon and I need you to check it out to support your girl I talked about scar fitting purchase. I don't talk about my journey. I talk about the information. There is so much vital information. If you're on on the journey of removing your scar, you will need this book. I'm not just saying it because I made it. I'm saying it because it's really, really good. I took my time. I took it took it took a year or months, several months of writing this book, putting words together, meeting with people who already have this and actually getting information and, and talking to all the dermatologists and this is a book that you really really need if you're on a journey of scar removal process you need this book by your side i may not write i may not say everything but this book contains everything you need and it's not just picture second laser if you're just on a laser treatment journey on the scar removal journey you need this this book all right so please get it the link is in the description box and also the link is up here check out the book and tell me just give me feedbacks and yes it has um up to it has a lot of chapters that it just talked about everything so it might be something you want to check out it's a small token for support and also to just learn a lot all right thank you so much god bless you now on a very personal note i know i've not been really constant here that's because i got married and a lot changed it was it was a lot so i just needed time off uh, social media and youtube i just needed time to breathe and i'm back right now thank you for the support for everyone that reached out and shared their congratulatory message thank you i am really grateful god bless you thank you and uh, if you're not following me on any social media please do just drop your like and follow it will be mean the world to me thank you I always enjoy it when you tell me you come from my YouTube channel and I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so today we'll be talking about, and also in the description box, you see the links to the Amazon products that we used. Um, also, Pico Second, if you want to order Pico Second on Amazon, they are right here in the description uh, box. You can just go there, check yourself out. And also the book too, the link to the book is also here too. So yeah thank you so let's jump into today's topic today we'll be talking about does home remedies for scar really work i tried them all so i'm here to just give you my own two cents about it and let you know one or two that i've used and the ones that didn't work for me all right let's jump right into it let's go number one i'll be looking at my phone so if you see me looking i'm just i'm just looking at my phone thank you all right um first up is aloe vera does aloe vera really really work hmm this one is actually um a very tricky one now aloe vera i have used it and it does make your skin look good though aloe vera is good on the skin and also good on the hair does it is it good on the scar that's where the problem is but one thing i notice about when you start using aloe vera it does help to reduce the redness of a scar now if you have a scar that is red very red and you just place aloe vera in it and then i notice that it does help to reduce redness of a scar but it doesn't fade off the scar now the texture of the scar which is now it makes the scar a little bit soft so that's what it does so it has uh, this healing properties and it's also good for healing too now mind you you're not supposed to use aloe vera on a freshly wounded skin 
that is something you should never do so if you just um, maybe you just had your laser and all of that please don't don't use it but if you notice that the scar is beginning to turn into a keloid it's swollen and all of that you might want to apply um, aloe vera on it to just um, um, gradually flatten and you know reduce the, the texture of the scar so that's one thing you should actually look out for all right so number two is my number two is lemon juice now lemon juice is a big one people claim it has citric acid with lemon and it helps to lighten it does help to lighten the scar that is for sure if you're using lemon it does help to lighten your that if you notice that your your scar is lighter than your normal skin tone it will help to actually lighten your scar but the fading of the scar is the is a process is the big one it doesn't help to fade the scar like that but it does help to lighten the scar so as you use it and the lighting you have to be very careful with it because using a lemon juice on the scar every single time really does causes more harm than good all right you need to be very careful with it because it's harsh it's really it's it's the, the harshness can affect the skin especially on the face so you need to be very careful when you're using it don't use it too much don't go overboard with it just be mindful be, be, be more about it be cute be cutesy about it <laughs> all right um number three it will be honey oh this one is um actually the gently the gentle version of um it's it has natural healing properties and it's um unlike a lemon juice it is super gentle to use on the skin it is really good and it helps to actually soften the texture of the scar it does this but you also have to be very mindful when you're using lem honey on a, on a on on a skin especially your your face you need to be very very mindful of it and um the results is um when i started using honey the results were not dramatic but they they i sure see notice in the texture of the scar because what i usually do is that i give one month interval to each home remedy if i use this one then maybe next two months i'll try another home remedy so that's what i did i didn't use them like use them all at once and that's one thing you should actually learn so you need to um moisturizing it does help to moisturize your skin but slow progress on the scar it's it's the the scar fitting process it's it's really slow so if we, i don't have i didn't have the patient to wait for a long time to see the result i just used it for like two months i guess and i stopped so yeah so um now coconut oil that's my third now fourth actually coconut oil is it's actually good i love it i love the moisturizing effect of the coconut oil and it helps to also lighten the scar too it's it really does that to scar it will help to lighten the scar and it's also great for moisturizing and nourishing the scar but for the skin sorry but for the scar you know it doesn't do much but it's if if you combine it with other oils it's really good for scar now when you combine with other oils that i will talk about maybe later in the video i'll tell you how to combine this home remedy to actually work for you um it's going to work really but if you just use only yes you'll notice the results that you actually really 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 want all right i hope you got that good so now next one will be apple cedar vinegar one thing it is known for it's it's really good for exfoliating um it's it's the exfoliating properties of our apple cedar vinegar is is really good and it can also help um, um dead skin uh, skin cells it can help to to recover dead skin cells it's, and also it will make your feel, your skin feel very smoother and brighter so that's one thing uh, uh, apple cedar vinegar is going to do for you but it's also very harsh it's just like um lemon juice this is also very very harsh so you need to be very mindful when you're doing that very very cutesy about it very demure about it so you need to really when you're using it don't use it too often don't use it too dramatic don't be very dramatic about using it just be very very careful when you're doing it so yeah
seeds will be baking soda baking soda is very good but it's very 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 harsh all i just like it's just like um apple cider vinegar and also lemon juice they are these properties are very 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 harsh on the skin now both this these three properties are really good for lightening dark spots lightening is called i see darker than your skin tone so you might want to actually think about this if you really want um to lighten your dark spot if you combine these three things are going to help to lighten your dark spot but you need to be very careful be very careful apply caution with this thing just because you can use it doesn't mean that you should abuse it be very demure about it very cutesy about it when you're doing it um just every just do it once a week or twice a week that's is it and when you're applying it on your skin just for a few minutes and you're done and don't apply it for long hours just because you want to automatically lighten your dark spot please be very very careful these are the um, um home remedies i'm going to just drop the ones that worked and like i said to, uh, my final tips is if you really want to darken your skin tone um lighten your skin tone i mean these three tips apple cider vinegar uh, lemon juice and baking soda the combining both of them will help to lighten your dark spots fast but you have to be very careful you have to be very apply caution to it when you're using it and when you want to reduce the texture like maybe soften the texture of your of your scalp when you combine all um, coconut oil honey and you apply to it does will help to reduce the texture to soften the texture of your scar you notice that your scar is not that stiff again it will be softening soften and with time it will gradually reduce so i hope these tips are going to help you as you journey through removing your scar remember anything you do just apply caution with it just because you have the information doesn't mean you should abuse them be very careful and if you're using oils please know that oils don't automatically reduce reduce them they gradually fade the scar so you need to be very careful have this at the back of your mind when you're doing anything it will help you a long way so yeah thank you and again once again i have my book on amazon it will mean the world to me if you just go check it out and just buy it just for a small token you will learn a lot from my journey and you will learn a lot using applying these things and the information they are really vital for you so yeah Thank you so much for everything. I'm really grateful. Have a great, 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 great night. Um, great morning, great afternoon, wherever you are. And thank you for supporting me.